Hello, hello! Hope everybody is doing well. We made it to Hump Day! Hope everyone's doing well on this fine Wednesday. And you read it right, this is going to be the last Sunbro vibes until the DLC launches. Mainly because. Ooh, pardon me. Mainly because there is a new release coming out next week. So, it's just going to eat Elden Ring's day. So, let's get started. We're going to get the blue up and running. And then we're going to do near and far for a little bit. Then help out at Moog specifically. And then we're going to see if we can't help out at Radon specifically. Leave the music run until we actually get summoned for one reason or another. But yeah. It's, it's going to be fun. I personally cannot wait. I'm doing as best a job I can to stay spoiler free, but I gotta, I gotta <laughs> still have to interact with uh, social media. I can't go dark. Y'all should. If you are able to, you should go dark to avoid the spoilers. Don't want any of them. Let's see. Near and far is not catching anybody at the moment. We might end up switching characters too. Because right now we're at 175. We might go down to my 139 characters. We'll see. We will see. Give it a couple minutes. People are getting ready to cook, it seems. Let's see about specifically here. But yeah. So what I'm going to do. Oh, itchy, itchy, itchy knows is I'm going to be rounding out the uh, the character for the first run and that's going to be a character up in new game plus cycles that is going to be a character that is hanging out around level 300 so that way if I find something I can just pick it up and use it and decide if it's something that I like. And as I'm going through the DLC, I'm going to find things, see if I like them, how they work, and then if I do, I have a... Um, let's see. I have a character started that is level one, nothing touched, and we're going to see if, uh, oh, sure, as soon as I take my sign away, there's somebody running around here. But yeah, I'm going to see if I find anything I enjoy more than normal and then I'm going to put that character through to the DLC, grab it and make a build around it. Because oh, pardon me. Because uh <laughs> we're going to be heading back into primarily PVP territory 
back to my roots, as it were. Not having any luck today so far. Gotta let people get online, I guess. But yeah, that's going to be the... Uh, the main thing. There we go. And that's the music. Alright, here we are. Ah, yes. You stop that right now. Holy. What? It... It hurt me when it couldn't move. Oh. There we go. <laughs> that works. Oh my goodness. Okay. Time to get rid of the boys. The boys hurt. is running scared it looks like here come on now swing away Ooh, I'm completely out of blue ooh the host is in trouble now we are all in trouble Big boys down. Where's the host? Get over here. Okay. We should be able to control them now. Don't know why you're... Face it away, but there we go. Ooh. Yeah, we should be able to control them fairly decent now. Should only take like three more. Oh my. <laughs> Ooh, big boy. There we go. Ah. 
And that's the god skins down. Hell yeah. Ended up being a heal bot there for a little bit. But it worked. It worked just fine. All right. Near and far. But yeah, uh, next week I'm going to be playing Monster Hunter Stories 2 as soon as it comes out. Comes out on Friday next week. So I'll be doing a stream of that that night. Uh, stories 1. Correcting myself. Stories 1 re-release. I swear, my mind thinks one thing and my mouth says another. <laughs> this is about right. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got a summon. Let's see. Where are we going? The subterranean shunning grounds. Ooh. Oh, we're going straight to the boss. <laughs> Enter the Three Stooges. In we go. <laughs> Wasn't even really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could call it a fight. We we beat the brakes off of him. <laughs> oh. Let's see now. Yeah, I've said my wish list enough. Great weapons, colossal weapons, ashes that turn weapons into casting tools, and a bunch of other stuff. Along with some quality of life improvements. But yeah. Ooh, Shadow. Shadow of the Earth Tree is going to be fun. It's going to be frustrating, but fun. <laughs> That's only going to be frustrating until we learn what we're doing. Once everybody gets a handle on how stuff works, we should be good. Mm. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, eh, beard. Stop getting caught in things. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I hope y'all have been doing good. Allergies in the brain goblins have been doing me doing me in pretty hard this week. But it is what it is. Square the shoulders and keep moving forward. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, got 
Come on. All right, we're going to place our sign down here. And I am going to hydrate. Y'all should do that, too. Make sure that y'all are being healthy. Mm. All that good stuff. Do the good stuff. <laughs> Do the hard. Get stuff. <laughs> And that was a. It was a thing I was thinking of. Do y'all think that if Monster Hunter gets big enough, they would do a crossover with FromSoft or uh, Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine. Like either a Pikachu in a uh, set of uh, Palico armor or uh, outright uh, evolution line inspired by Monster Hunter. I'm talking, oh, well, let's go near far. I'm talking like, uh, like a full evolution line. Like it starts as, oh, let's see, what, what, what would it go? What would it go? In my head, it would go... Rathalos, Rathian, like a three-stage evolution. It would go Rathalos, Rathian, and end with Fatalis. Because it's a, a legendary evolution chain. That would be interesting. I'm sure there's plenty of fake mons out there. Four Monster Hunter. I just haven't looked them up myself. And the grand majority of the time, <laughs> the fans come up with really solid designs. Now, for an Elden Ring thing, I would imagine... Coming, uh, coming across a dead hunter and uh, taking his armor. <laughs> Basically the Drake uh, knight set here in Elden Ring, but uh, closer to Monster Hunter. There we go. Oh, we hunting. Oh, excuse me. Here we go. Let's see if we can get to... Oh, we're here. We're definitely not getting to that party. Oh, uh, hang on. I had to clear my throat, but I think... Yeah... I had a thought that they were setting up for a gank. And I really didn't want to participate in a gank. No, but that's every invader's uh, <laughs> experience here in Elden Ring. It's almost always a gank. So, eh. What can you do? I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know how much longer. Oh, it's a hunter again. Oh, boy. I don't know how much longer invasions have as a lifespan because there are so many people who don't want it. And equal amount of people who do. So, 
no clue. Where are these where are these guys? In this way. And then it's an overleveled again. He's doing a very good job. He is doing a very good job. This guy is really good. You did good, kid. <laughs> that was a very, very good invasion. You did well. GG. Connor. Exceptional invader. All right. Let's go for let's go for bosses now, eh? <laughs> but yeah, I'd I'd imagine that a crossover there would just be that. And I imagine that the uh the receiving end of Monster Hunter. We would get some... For the Pokemon thing, for Monster Hunter, we would get a Pokemon either as a monster that we could fight or we would get Palico gear to make our Palico look like Pikachu or uh, we get some endemic life that we could catch that looked like Pokemon. Um, for the receiving end for FromSoft, I could see the Palico or the Hunter getting the Elite Knight set from the Dark Souls series. Ooh. Or the Faram armor. Ooh. The drip on that armor is immaculate. It would either be the, it would probably be the Elite Knight because that is the most iconic armor set from Dark Souls. But the Faram armor is right up there. <laughs> Give it... Excuse me. Give it a minute or so of looking specifically here. Hopefully we'll get somebody. But yeah, we'll look here specifically for a couple minutes and then we will head over to Radon and do near far there and uh, look specifically over there.
and then we might end up switching to a lower level. Probably would be a good idea to do that now. You know. Mm. Yeah, it'd probably be a good idea to do that now. Yeah, let's do that now. Okay. Ooh, let's swap that off. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? Yep, this is going to be last bit of Elden Ring for a little while. We're switching characters at the moment for a lower level range. We were at 175. We're going to dip down to 139 to catch more people. But yeah, as I was saying, this is going to be the last Elden Ring for a little while because only a couple weeks until it's out. And next week, Monster Hunter Stories is getting re-released and I'm going to be playing that. So, oh, Let's see. Let's get the blue summons ready again. And start looking. Let's see. But yeah, I hope the week has treated you well thus far. You're having a good Wednesday. But let's see. Yeah, oh. Because I was going to put out a video of my wish list for the DLC, but seeing as uh, there was a event that a bunch of creators got called to, I'm I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, good. Eh, allergies and mind goblins are doing their worst, but I'm I'm doing all right. But yeah, the TLDR on my wish list is more great versions of weapons, uh, colossal weapons, and Ash of War that turn your uh, weapons into casting tools. <laughs> and the usual uh, quality of life changes. I've done... Pretty solid at staying spoiler-free so far. I hope you have as well. Because whenever I see something, I immediately... That! Swip right past it. <laughs> as fast as I can go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, good. Good. Glad to hear it. Hey, there we go. And it's for Moog. Ah, oh, here we go. Where's your army of undead, Arthas? <laughs> and he's set up on a bleed build, so this should be pretty solid. Oh, he wants to... Ah, okay. Yeah. Call the peeps. Call the boys. <laughs> yup. <laughs> yeah, you would think that he'd have a, a silly high resistance to it, but no, oddly enough, it's fire that he has a silly high resistance to <laughs> compared to the others. Uh, 
Oh no, the unable to summon curse has begun. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, yo, uh, can't you just like hold it in? <laughs> <laughs> like what can we say he's 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 just a little guy <laughs> No, we didn't cook them that bad already. All right, there we go. Now we can focus on this. And I am the weirdo using the fire weapon because we got somebody out here using frost. I'm resetting their proc all the time. <laughs> Head and heal. Get him into that. Get him into the line. Get back out. Clumsy as hell. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, he's almost done. Time for greed. Yeah. Down he goes. Oh, nice. Max level. I'll get a character there at some point. Just got to put down some more Albinorix. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's try near and far for a little bit. Okay, that's a yeah, that's a heal. Get this back on, but ye. Ooh, immediate. Hell yeah. I should have switched down to a lower level range sooner. <laughs> Ooh. Wonder. I no longer have to wonder. All right. Oh, that thing is going to be a pain. And it's raining. I'm basically completely nerfed. I mean, that is an interesting dynamic that uh, the weather actually... Get back here. Oh, the Grave Scythe is amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. Though my favorite weapon in the game is the Guardian Sword Spear. Absolutely love that. Oof. Whoo! <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, ho. I wonder what 
new game cycle he's on. <laughs> A big one. <laughs> I got hit twice. <laughs> Three hours to get. Oof. Yeah. The people I do not envy are the people who have two of the 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 magma scimitars. Oh, I do not envy those people. One enemy in the entire game has the damn thing, and it's on a very low drop rate. I forget the amount. It's silly low. And some people have two of them. <laughs> Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah, I got lucky in my first... On my initial playthrough. And I had gotten it after, like, my third skeleton. <laughs> I was like, ooh, people are saying this is rare and really good. <laughs> and it looks sick. But then, I tried to get my hands on the uh, golden, uh, the golden sword from the uh, uh, the roaming nobles. Oh, <laughs> that's where my luck said, "Nah, <laughs> you grinding today." But yeah, on my main, I ended up getting all of the drops. I have all of the armor and weapons. But he's on, like, New Game Plus 2, I believe. Ah, Celia Crystal Tunnel. This is going to be interesting. And quick once we get going. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Is it going to do the can't? Yep, that's. I kind of had a feeling it was taking long enough. Oh. Let's see. I'm going to start clearing some stuff out. Oh, we should be set, then. That's respectable damage. Nope, I did not go for the high enough jump. Ooh. These damn things. Come here. Yeah, we... I think we're on cycle one here. <laughs> because these things barely hurt me, and I nuke them, so... It's like, bro, I promise you did not need help with this. I will help, but you did not need it. <laughs> Say one shot and two for that. <clears throat> Got 
gonna head on up here and start clearing stuff out some more. But yeah, I totally get uh, leaving stuff till later. I do it a lot too. I mean, yeah, he's not going to need... <laughs> if he ends up needing the shortcut, I will be very surprised. Ooh. Marry you. <laughs> All right. Time to squishy squash the falling star beast. Hold it until they get over here and boop. Go ahead and pop that too. Because why not? There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. <laughs> Yeah, you had this. You didn't need me. <laughs> yeah, the falling star beast. That I think that was his first encounter with it, or at least his. Uh, uh, he was on New Game Plus Zero. Because that was a lot of damage just out of the R1. <laughs> so, leaving stuff to last and just going, I, nah, I'm just gonna, I'm just doing this. <laughs> Fully understand. <laughs> oh. Ah, we hunt. <laughs> a hunter is a hunter, even in Elden Ring. <laughs> oh. And my enthusiasm is dead. Because... Oh, well, maybe... Maybe. Oh, he is behaving. Good. Oh, wait, no, he's not. No. Okay, we saw the health bar up there. On that part of the broken bridge. Let me switch here. All right. If he wants a duel, I'll have a duel. But yeah. Yeah, see, there he is. He was trying to get up closer to see. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. He's up there. 
<sighs> God damn farmers. Because you see, he'll a host will go up there. Get up there somehow. I don't know how to get there. And no one can get at him. So he'll just endlessly summon reds and blues to fight and kill each other, farming their runes. <laughs> yeah, it is smart, but it is like, yeah, right there. It's annoying as hell. All right. Okay. <laughs> I want these as plushies. <laughs> I want the spirit caller snails as plushies. <laughs> Apparently. Honestly, the hardest part about the Loretta... This is New Game Zero again as well. <laughs> the hardest part about this is getting to the fight because of these guys. Because if you're not careful, they'll knock you off the ledge. I've ended up helping out at Loretta a lot, actually. All right, let's get all the buffs going, and away we go. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think the lightning is gonna, gonna help out too much with this one. We need more girth for that. <laughs> or if you can get right underneath her and do it, that would work too. Oh my, someone needs to learn what vigor is. <laughs> Near you. <laughs> oh, I see. They're still using rocks. Her damage is not too bad. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Got greedy. Host can't handle her now, though. I'll be surprised. I'm about to be surprised, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> ah. uh, 
But yeah, I went too greedy thinking that I could get a bleed proc. <laughs> I think the other guy had the exact same issue. He was trying so hard to make the lightning storm work. But yeah, there's, um, back to the farming thing, there's multiple places where people can farm. Um, there's actually, let's see, right in Limgrave, as a matter of fact, you can get on top of the first building that, by the first step. You got to take a jump pad from down on the beach, but you can get on top of that building. And then you just summon hunters and invaders with your taunter's tongue and just sit up there and let them fight. And then there's a bunch of them where you can stand on cliff edges that no one can get at. You got to be careful, though, because... On top of that building, you're not completely safe. You can't go AFK. You can get hit by Ballista. So there is... There is a silver lining. You can't, you can't just AFK it. Yeah, it, 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 is, um, it is complete bullshit. <laughs> but that's what happens when you've got uh, a mount that can go places. The most common place is in Lyurnia. There's a, uh, there's like a church roof that you can get on top of. That was, that's the most common place. And I remember it back when, uh, Frenzy was broken. <laughs> uh, when you could one shot people with Frenzy. I was invading and I saw somebody up there. And I used the uh, assassin's approach or the invisible uh, ash of war on a dagger. I snuck around. They were looking for me. And I, I got them. <laughs> I got them with the, uh, the sniper shot frenzy spell. <laughs> that felt good. <laughs> Yeah, that was busted. You could one-shot people with uh, a carrion retaliation. It was a time. It was a time. <laughs> Specifically the shield one. That was the one that was busted. <laughs> All right, let's see if anybody needs help right here. <laughs> but yeah, and then there was the Fire's Deadly f a Sin glitch with... First, it was with Death Blight. Hello, hello. It's going well. Helping out some people, getting summoned as blues. But yeah, we were just talking about uh, the old glitches, like the Fire's Deadly Sin glitch with Death Blight. Then it was with... Uh, Fire's Deadly Sin and a Blood Flame Blade. <laughs> you slap on Blood Flame Blade first, and then you do Fire's Deadly Sin, and it would be an AoE, just constant bleed buildup. It was wild. Near 
turn far again. The Karian retaliation glitch was fun for me because I would do like trick shots with it. <laughs> Like, there was one content creator, Prod. He's a uh, almost exclusively uh, Souls-born PvP guy. He did a couple trick shots with it in the... Uh, oh, what's this area? Up over here? <laughs> was it Noxtella? No. I don't have the map for it. It was up over there with all the roots. He... Uh, did it off of his own consumable, and then he would like jump off of the roots to try and have have the daggers go out to people. <laughs> the wall. Um, I remember a couple wall stuff, so. Ooh, okay, we're here. Uh, one of them I can recall was people using the double door um, weapons in Dark Souls 2. That was one of them. But yeah, no, if it, it was if it was in Dark Souls 1, I'll have to look it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll have to look that up then. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Just punishing people with a shield. <laughs> uh, That's great. I love that. I love that a lot. Oh, no. Is... is Oh, just pushing him. Okay. Still, that's great. <laughs> nope. But yeah, no, I'll I'll definitely have to look that up. <laughs> I have a horrifying feeling about my host here <laughs> cuz it kind of looked like he was doing the near over encumbered walk to the fog wall and I see him with the crafted great sword well we'll never know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll have to look that up because that sounds like fun. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. Then um, <laughs> Dark Souls 2, there was... Uh, old content creator by the name of Tear of Grace. He's still doing stuff. He's just not doing Souls stuff that much anymore. Um, back in Dark Souls 2, he did a thing called Mimic Mountain in the Bl Brothers of Blood arena where he, <laughs> he wore the mimic head and like Havel's armor and he had the horrifically powerful shield that could be used for spells too. And he was just blocking and shield bashing everybody. <laughs> he never lost. <laughs> Even with the slow tick of the the, the avarice helmet. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Dark Souls 2 was a time. <laughs> Ooh, we're in the Volcano Manor. 
All right, we're still mid-roll. Time to hunt us a great big old snake. <laughs> Come on. We can't get in. Let us in. Host, you have to keep going and trigger the boss. We're not allowed in. <laughs> Let us in. Let us in. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh. I love this fight specifically for the gimmick. Ooh. Oh, me and my one pixel of health will will go home now. Thank you. <laughs> getting way too greedy. <laughs> Come on now. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Oh, thank you for that. That was going to be poison. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Grave Lord's Covenant. <laughs> yeah, I remember the Grave Lords. I miss the Grave Lords. <laughs> because I was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> that and Servants of Chaos, Chaos Servant, were my two favorites. <laughs> and to be honest, I was only in Gravelord as long as I got my Gravelord Greatsword. The second I got that, I was only there in PvP. Like, going through the game normally, I would immediately switch off to uh, Chaos Servant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly... Oh, yeah, I miss Nito as well. But, yeah, props to this voice actor turning his lungs inside out for this character. Holy hell. <laughs> but, yeah, Gravelord Greatsword was my favorite weapon. Smacked. We gotta hurry up a bit. The apocalypse is coming. <laughs> Ooh, 
couldn't see. There were too many bodies in the way. Careful, careful. <laughs> Ooh, out of blue. Woo, that was close. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, he's doing in the spinner rooney. There we go, Rikard down. There we go. Had to be a bit more careful than normal. Because <laughs> I got too greedy. But there we go. But yeah. Gravelord Greatsword. Oh, I miss that design. And in Dark Souls 3, we got to see... Uh, Aldrich using it at the end of a staff. Because <laughs> that's what that was, that pole arm. It was fashioned from the Gravelord Greatsword. Uh, Aldrich the Devourer. His only real claim to fame is the god he was wearing like a hoodie. <laughs> That, and I wonder if they'll uh, capitalize on the Age of the Deep Sea that he was connected with. Or if that wasn't just a uh, nod to Bloodborne, because uh, lakes and oceans are very important in that game. Let's see. Oh, what other silly builds that I can remember from back in the day? Hmm. There was one, the same content creator I was talking about, Tear of Grace, where <laughs> he would take binoculars and try <laughs> in Dark Souls 2. And he tried to see how many people would let him just use binoculars and stare at their character. Quite a few people played along. It was actually nice. <laughs> Ooh, I remember one. I remember a silly build. Same creator. Uh, <laughs> he used the mimic head again with the Katarina, with the rest, it was the Katarina set. And <laughs> he had the, um, oh, I don't remember what it was. It was the um, pole arm that looked like a fork and its uh, special was the buffing dance. I don't remember the name of it anymore. Seath's mages had it. But anyway, you have that. 
and the butcher's cleaver. So it looked like he was uh, getting ready to eat a meal because it, <laughs> it was absolutely silly. Uh, I believe you had to get the the cleaver from the soul of the rotten. Like the base soul, not not uh, Nito's soul that you got from the rotten on New Game Plus. <laughs> it was silly. That was Dark Souls 2 PvP builds in a nutshell. The sillier, the better. They ended up <laughs> working. <laughs> Let's slap down for here specifically for a little bit. See if we can get anybody. I'm going to adjust my seat. Ooh. One of the major things I hope is in the DLC. Hmm. Mm. is like a pseudo covenant a pseudo covenant where it's effectively the uh the dragon duelists i missed them i missed that covenant the the way of the dragon covenant that was fun i really enjoyed that one My video. <laughs> I saw that video. That's great. I love it. <laughs> oh, it is so fun. I enjoy the Dragon Covenant quite a bit because of the duels. and do this now become the dragon <laughs> yeah the closest we have to something like that is um, dragon communion now which is solid I just want to be able to like Give me a covenant where I can PvP and earn dragon hearts, you know, from from people. I think that would be fun. Ooh, Ooh host. And at some point. I hope it's part of the DLC where we can have that old dragon armor back. In my opinion, Dark Souls 2's dragon armor was the best iteration. I, I mean, in Dark Souls 3, you had the skinny dragon fellas, which were fun. They were neat. But the Dark Souls 2 golden dragon armor was peak in my opinion. Ooh. Hold on. There we go. No, he wasn't aimed at me, but I was in the way. Suck lightning! <laughs> I 
this other guy is being a phenomenal tank. <laughs> Too far away. Still too far away, damn it. I messed up my roll. Come on. Yeah, they'll get him. I'm confident. All right, let's actually. Head on over and put our summon sign down specifically for Radon because that has been confirmed again to be the next challenge to get into the DLC. Let's see about helping people with Radon. Though, he's been nerfed so much. Let's send that back up. There we go. Put down the summon sign. Wait a couple minutes. I'll be surprised if we actually get anyone biting. Back in the day, I remember just sitting at the uh, Church of Dragon Communion and doing the effigy and actually getting summoned over here. And people were using this space as, like, a PvP arena. This little stretch of beach. So I can remember more than once fighting invaders down here. Yeah, when a new Soulsborne comes out, that's that's when everything is at its most exciting. Because everyone is still trying to figure everything out. That and all of the messages in the water is funny. <laughs> it's funny to me. Because <laughs> a lot of people thought, oh, okay, after you beat Radon, it, like, the, the water goes away. Nope. <laughs> it just so happens that there are actually spots out there to stand on if you're lucky and land on them. Because there's one like that out at the uh, Forge of the Giants, actually. Like, right next to the Grace. There's, like, invisible steps. I saw a couple shorts of people jumping on torrent on those steps and it's like what even happened for the first person to find this by accident what what were they even doing <laughs> i often think about this like a lot of the obscure things that souls players do it's like what are you even doing? How how did you come to this conclusion? <laughs> hey, got ourselves a summon for Radon. 
And it's invaded immediately. <laughs> he is spicy. He was doing pretty good for the circumstances. All right, let's let's get to it then. And they're a little bit of a necromancer too, because they have the family heads. Oh my God, that face! That is the most beautiful face. <laughs> Sir Joker. <laughs> A serious face and then Joker. All right, our... Are we going to go to the boss, or did I accidentally get roped into a gank? Because I'm leaving if I'm getting roped into a gank. I, I do not have any interest. Okay, no, he's turning his taunter's tongue on and off. This is not what I'm... This is not why I'm here. try again hopefully we'll get somebody who actually wants to do the the boss and not ganking so that's not my vibe if I can help it sometimes it can't be helped but I try not to Let's see. Let's actually do a near and far from here. See where we end up. Make sure y'all are doing the healthy stuff, too. Mm, let's see. All right, I do have near and far working. Mm, 
Let's put the summon sign down again. I'm seeing uh, a bunch of specters. So maybe there'll be people that want to do it. Or not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be underwater. <laughs> I think I'll be quiet. Just listen. These normal footsteps in the sand. Footsteps like you're walking through water. <laughs> but there is no water here. <laughs> See, it's supposed to be like this. <laughs> uh, they put that little chunk of land up a bit too high. <laughs> Just a smidgen. Is this one? Well, this one has the same, so maybe they just didn't have the waves hit it right. Okay. Not finding anybody there. Let's go out. Tried and true space. Of Boil Prawn Shack. Oh, it's going to be so good in the DLC. Oh. That's partially why this is the last uh, Elden Ring stream before the DLC. Want to get my hype up. <laughs> That and I've got, I've been putting together an idea for future streams for uh, around October. Because spooky, yeah. Yes, must return to the ring. <laughs> oh yeah. It, it's going to be good. But yeah, um, thinking of a challenge run in Bloodborne, because I've got a character all set to do it. Just got to decide exactly which, like if I'm going to new new game or if I'm going to continue with the character that has everything on it for the run and just do new game plus we'll see we got some months for it <laughs> thanks for watching the video please like share and subscribe and I'll catch you next time <laughs>